Yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be no hitting all Elden Ring bosses using a fantastic critical damage build. First of all, I'm going to explain how to create this build quickly and then we go with the boss fights. This is a quality build, so the most important stats are going to be strength and dexterity. I put the following values, AD on strength and dexterity on 68. I put 28 points on fate and I will explain later why it looks like 33 on my screen. The reason why I level up fate is to be able to use the two main boss of this build. It's important to mention that my build is not optimal, but is designed to get the maximum performance in terms of damage. So if you want to have an overpowered build but with a lot of vigor as well, I will recommend you to do the following stats. Instead of 10 on vigor you will go with 40 and instead of having 80 on strength you will have 60 and on dexterity you will have 40 and you will have enough points to put on endurance or mind or if you want more vigor then go with more, more vigor. Now the equipment will look like this. Our main weapon is going to be the Executioner's Quality Great Axe on plus 25 with the Crack Blade Ash of War in order to deal more stance damage and break the stance of the enemies easier and in consequence deal more critical attacks. We are going to need any seal to be able to cast Golden Bow and Hollow Shabriri which are the reason that we upgraded Fate on this build. The armor that I am using is the Champion Set with the Page Hood just for the drips guys. If you need a better armor, feel free to use it. Now, as I said before, my fate is on 33 thanks to the two fingers heirloom because I only level up fate to 28, so I needed those extra five points to cast Golden Vow. And you might be thinking why I am using Golden Vow when I maybe could use the Commander Standard buff. The reason is so simple, I will need the buff to last longer to be able to break the stance of the enemy and then deal a critical attack. If I only use the Commander Standard buff, I will not have enough time and Maybe I will break the stance, but the critical attack will not be that powerful. Obviously, we are going to use the dagger talismans to increase the power of our critical attacks. In order to get critical attacks, first we have to break the stance of the enemies, and the best way to do it is with heavy attacks. And to do it with a lot of damage, we are going to use the axe talisman. And the talisman that I have here right now is going to boost our damage by 20% if we are under 20% of our total HP. This talisman is very useful to me because I have to not get hit. But if you are going to play with your full HP bar with a 40 bigger build, then you are going to use the ritual sword talisman which will boost your damage by 10% if you have your HP bar full. This is a very useful talisman if you want to play chill. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Spike Crack Tear and the Stone Barb Crack Tear to deal a strong heavy attacks and to break the stance easier. And I am going to use the Blood Bolt Aromatic because I don't have uh, problems farming the items that are necessary to craft this one. But if you don't want to craft this item, then use Halber Shabriri. They are pretty similar, but Blood Bolt Aromatic is a little bit more powerful and to me it's easy to use. And another items that you might find useful are the Pickle Torten Legs that will boost your stamina regeneration and the sleep pods that you might find useful in certain boss fights. Now with the build already explained, let's begin with the video. Yeah, that's the perfect damage right there boys. <laughs> That's fine. That's a good start, if you ask me. Well done, boys. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nice! That's a critical attack. Nice, another chance. It's not possible to break the stance. It's, it's just... A fantastic build, dude. You can break the stance or you can destroy the enemies. It's whatever you want, boys.
Nice. I thought I was about to one-shot this dude, but neither with Royal Knight Resolve I was able to do it, so... That's damage, boys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. That's dairy, bro. Just destroy the poor girl, man. What do you guys think? Is this bad boy going to resist this magical build? I don't think so. Because let's give it a chance. It's resistant, I have to say. But not that much. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Oh, that was sweet. Nice. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> it took a bunch of hits to break the stance of this, though. This quite resistant. Wow! <laughs> no way, man! <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Amazing fight. Nice. Yeah, I have to wait a little bit more. It's just a little bit, which is ridiculous, but I'll wait. Dairy. He's dairy. He's dairy, bro. <laughs> they are running wild on me, bro. <laughs> That's the funny part of it. They they run on me like I'm the worst enemy of 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 the world, bro. Oh, that's there, bro. Oh, they're really good at baiting. I feel so much desire of attacker. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. Stop chasing me, dude. Nice, one v one. <laughs> no way this is happening, dude. No, no, no. Oh my god, I'm so bad at it. Oh 
Oh, I had it right there, but I hesitate a little bit. Dude, this fight is so horrible. I, I hate this boss fight, dude. Wow, this guy is just dirty. I'm done, bro. Yeah, it's it's all good till the fight takes a lot of time. I'm done. I I I I accomplish the challenge, bro. It's it's all good. It's the first time I break the stance of this dude. <laughs> well, every time I kill it before. <laughs> but <laughs> I broke the stance of this guy. That's cool. <laughs> Let's go, boys. I tried. I tried to break the stars of this man, but it, it, I don't know. He get into a certain lock, and it's impossible to do it. And the damage is so delicious, bro. I I fell in love with the damage when it's too high, and I just want to keep spamming damage, bro. <laughs> you weren't lying, bro. You weren't lying. This thing is fantastic. Okay, little friends, please give me some, give me some clips, boys. Okay, there you are, skinny pity. Come on, skinny pity. There you go. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh, this might be good. Are they both sleeping? Nah. Skinny boy is not sleeping. Oh my god, dude, just stop dodging my attacks, man. Oh my god, dude, you are annoying. Let's go. Hello, big boy. How you doing, bro? I think I can get a critical ha attack on them right now, right? If I'm if I'm not mistaken. Let's try it. Yeah, I can. That's a big attack. Oh my god, it one shot him. <laughs> it's not convenient then. It deals less damage. Let's go. Nice. Please, fat one, fat one, fat one, fat one. If he's the skinny one, I put him to sleep. No, dude, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep and give me the other one. Nice. No, don't sleep. No, dude. Yeah, sleep. Now you, I need you to wake up now. Come on, bro. Wake up. Give me some good. Goodbye, bro. Good night, baby. <laughs> Let's go. 
<laughs> Dude, I needed to, the fatty one to spot first. To spawn first. Spot. I don't know what spot means. She's running. <laughs> that was close. You will take a lead one, a, at least one from me, bro. Take this one. Oh, you wanna take another one? Take another one. You want another one? Uh, now he's running. No! Oh, that was close. I need it. I need to be a little bit closer. Dude, I wanted to break the stance of this guy to to get a critical attack at the end, but it's impossible with some bosses. It was so useful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was it was a little bit obvious, but let's go. <laughs> to kill what? For the Elden Ring. To become a special affairs. I can no empire. Nice one. Nice one. I was getting scared that I committed the, the wrong decision, but yeah. so broken <laughs> oh my god this is so beautiful actually so beautiful
Wow. What a fantastic build, guys. This is just amazing. Dude, <laughs> you were right, bro. You were right. I actually have to confess that I didn't believe that you were... <laughs> that that idea was nice, but it's indeed so nice. Thanks, man. Let's go. I drink it so early. It's okay though. I just need a little bit of, of it. You are wild, bro. Got some damage right there, boys. What the hell, bro? It killed it! Nice. Bro, did you just saw that? <laughs> what is that? Let's go. First try, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is a fight, bro. <laughs> this is a fight, bro. Wow. <laughs> it was so fast, man. And as you can see, we have completed the challenge successfully. And I have to say that this build surprised me a lot because I didn't have a lot of expectations about it. I thought it was about to be a, a normal mid, a regular build. But this weapon is awesome, bro. It's very similar to the Dragon Slayer Axe in Dark Souls 3. I think it's the same model. It's very recommended for you to play with this weapon. You will have a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I enjoyed the, the gameplay with this weapon. It's important to mention that you can even go further with the critical attacks. But it will be a complication stuff that many of you guys don't like. And I don't like a lot uh, as well. You first have to break an enemy stance and then use Royal Resolve and then deal a critical attack with this weapon and you will get a massive critical amount of damage but it's a very complicated process and i <laughs> and i will not be able to do it with every boss right and that's all from me guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and leave a like that way you will support me a lot have a great day guys my name is carlos and i will see you in the next one